Hello, this is Tanya Cunningham in Madison, Wisconsin. This is the first in a series of brief tutorials on using GIMP for image to track. I'm going to begin with some of the very basics. Um, as I go along, I'm going to show you some of the quirks and tips and tools for using GIMP. I'm no, by no means an expert on using GIMP, but I have taught myself enough to uh, utilize it for this purpose. So the idea here today is that we want to learn how to maximize an image to be knitted um, through image to track um, The first thing I'm going to do is open the image that I downloaded. Um, it's a free image from a, a public library. It's a Creative Commons image. Um, and um, to do that, if we go to File and scroll down to Open, you'll see that there's a keyboard shortcut. And most of the functions <clears throat> that we use will have these keyboard shortcuts. And I tend to use them because they save a lot of time and um, effort with clicking around in different places. So the keyboard shortcut for this is just a command O. So if I command O, I'll get my dialog and I'm going to open this picture of a woman. So the first thing that I would like to do is simply to uh, open this image in image to track as well and let you see what that would look like. So I will start image to track. Um, for purposes of these demonstrations I'm going to leave the vertical stretch at 1.0. In other words, no vertical stretch. That would vary depending upon a swatch that you would knit on your machine with your yarn to determine what the stretch factor is. And I'm going to start out with a maximum width of 200, um, which is obviously going to give us the best definition we could get. Uh, and two colors. So I'll select that same image and there it is with no uh, pre-processing of any kind. And you can see if you look at the smaller view that you can see the image. Um, you know, the image that I chose, I intentionally chose one that was sort of um, muted um, with not a lot of high contrast so that we can do some things to clear it up. So this works to an extent. You can see that there's a woman there, but I would say it's probably not um, maximized. So we'll close that. And that is now stored uh, next to where that image is. So here's the image and here's the, the image to track pattern that was made from it. Um, the next thing that I would do with an image is to convert it to a PNG. I prefer to work with PNG images. So um, I'm going to export this image to the same place. Now if you were to try to save this, if you went to file, I'm sorry, if you went to, oh, I'm in the wrong thing, if you went to file and save, um, what would happen is that you would be saving a GIMP file, which is this prefix XCF. Um, and we're not going to be able to use that in image to track or to look at. It probably won't open on your desktop except for in GIMP. So that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is we want to export it. So um, if you look under File, Export, and again the keyboard shortcut Shift Command E, which is what I always use to export. Um, and you will then have this um, dialog box come up. Um, and the, the um, suffix here will tell you the file type. And I'd started out with a, a JPEG, so um, it might have said JPEG when I first tried to save it. Um, but I don't want a JPEG, I want a PNG, so I'm going to go through this, scroll through this um, menu until I find PNG, click on that. Oops. And you'll see that the suffix has changed to PNG. I also want to make sure that it has a name that I want, 
and that it's going to the location where I want it to go. And I do want it to go to this folder, so I can either just hit return or click on export. Now the next thing that's going to happen uh, is this export uh, additional dialog box is going to come up, which obviously is sort of hidden. And there are three different ways that you could um, see this. One is obviously you could move anything around it out of the way so that you can click on it and make it come forward. Another way you can do it is to go to your dock and click on the, the little icon that has appeared in the dock and that would also um, make it come forward. Um, and the other thing you could do is if you use your command tab function so that you see all of your applications and you click through to this application that will also make it come forward. So now we have uh, exported that file to that same folder. And now since that's the image that I want to use, I'm going to close this one and open the PNG file. And from here, we'll go on and do some additional alterations and manipulations to maximize this image for uh, making a knittable pattern. And I'll look at that in the next video. So I want to say thanks for looking at GIMP for Image to Track, and do visit us online at DaviWorks.com slash knitting for the program, for a cable, and for information on additional technical support. Thanks.